Hey everybody, welcome to today's routine. We're gonna start in a pose that's an active pose, down dog. So please come into a down dog for the first position. From hands and knees, you can lift the butt up towards the ceiling, towards the sky, let the arms really stay strong and gently, although thoroughly, let your heels press towards the ground. So we're looking to start today's routine with a nice active position, down dog. We're only gonna be here for roughly five breaths, which will be just about 30 seconds more from this point. So try to stay relaxed in the mind, even though that in this position you are working, physically speaking, in some manner of strength and pressing, but there's still that balance of surrendering. Actually from down dog, let's just take one more massive inhale. On the exhale, come down to hands and knees, and let's now move into a puppy dog for our next pose. So just sliding your arms forward, palms down, head down, or maybe chin or throat to the ground. I want you to relax into your upper back, into your shoulders, into your torso and armpits. This puppy dog position is a really nice upper body pose. So let's give this puppy dog one minute from here. And the time is up for the puppy dog. So please come on out to hands and knees. And from the hands and the knees, I want you to take your right foot forward as we prepare for our basic lizard position. So with the right foot forward, bring your forms on the floor on the inside of your right foot. Or if you need to elevate the floor to you, just use a block or a couple folded blankets or an app mat. And that's completely fine. Let your spine round, let your head and your neck dangle free. And this lizard position will be for one minute on the right side. And the time is up. So please change lizard position left side. Once you found that perfect spot, be satisfied. You found your perfect spot. Now just give it a minute to work on you. One minute.
And now from here, let's please go through the hands and knee transition so we can end up on a right side pigeon pose. Right side pigeon position is the next position. Any props, anything you need to do to fill this in the target area of the gluteal group, plus included in that is the IT band. Pigeon position is a really nice hip stretch and it will last for one minute. And please change now to the other side. A slow transition, set yourself up on the left leg. Left leg pigeon position, one minute. And the time is up for this pose. Please stand up for our last position for today's routine will be a standing straddle, targeting the groin group. Standing straddle, make sure the arms are supporting your weight that you don't go too far. Always being a little bit more on the side of gentle with this position. This standing straddle will be the longest held position for today's routine. This will be a two minute hold. Standing straddle for two minutes. And you are crossing the halfway point, so you're aware of the time. You have one more minute.
that time is up. So please calm down to a rebound for you to take as long as you want or long as you need. Officially, the shooting is done. Thanks for joining us. Take care out there, and we'll see you tomorrow.